Welcome. Oh, no light. Hi, and welcome to Just Came. So, as you can see, I'm sat here with my coat on. What am I doing today? Well, as you know, on my channel, I've said I'm going to be hitting some hard hitting issues. One of the biggest issues to hit us today is poverty. Never having enough money, not having enough money to feed ourselves. Well, I believe that you can eat for just two pound a day. Now, I was supposed to start here. I was supposed to start this filming yesterday, but I wasn't. I had a few issues yesterday and I couldn't. So today we've got not two pound, but four pound to go and spend in a local supermarket. The supermarket that I've chosen is, a, is called Aldi. It's a discount food store. And what I'm hoping to get for my four pounds is pasta, some sauce, some jam, so at least some bread and some vegetables and possibly some meat. Now, can this all be done for less than two pound a day? Can this be done for just the four pound? Well, we're going to find out. Let's find out if that can be done. Because I think it can. Now, I'm not going to film as I wander around the supermarket because I haven't actually asked uh, Aldi's permission to film in there. But I am going to try and film at the till to show you what I've got. And then I'm going to show you right here in my living room what we actually managed to get. So... Here we go, it's really hot in here and I'm sweating like a brass blower's ass. Anyway, so let's get on with this. Let's get down to Aldi and let's see if we can eat for just two pound a day. Hi, so here we are, we're outside, Asda, outside Aldi in Crewe, in Cheshire. We're about to go in and we're going to see if we can spend less than four or less than four pounds in this store and feed ourselves for the next two days okay so i don't know if they will allow us to record in there so we might have to do this a bit discreet and it's raining out there so you know i'm not going to be recording on the way home um but uh, this is nanswich road this is the road i this is nanswich road it's a very busy road and um, it's in the heart of Crewe in Cheshire. So let's go in and let's see what we can get. I don't know how much of this I've recorded so because it went off. So here we are in Aldi. What we've managed to get, we've managed to get 99p bacon, 39p pasta sauce, 79p vegetables, 30 pa 30 39 pence pasta, 28 p jam, 36 pence bread. Now, as you know, that will should all come under budget. Now, in this pasta, there's just four bases for a meal. Four. For a single person. And you can bulk it out with some vegetables and some of this pasta sauce, which will also provide four meals. And for, you can add a bit of the bacon in for a bit of meat. And then tomorrow for lunch, you can have bacon sandwiches or jam sandwiches. And for breakfast, of course, it's jam on toast. Bargain. And all we've got to do now is find out to make sure all this has come in under four pounds. Look at my hand, it's bloody bleeding like a bugger. Mm. I can't believe it stopped recording. But we're in Alvey, in Crewe, in Cheshire. And this is definitely the shop to go for our two pound a day challenge. Hi. So, we're now back from the supermarket. We got a few really lovely things. We got some jam, we got some um, bacon, we got some bread, we got pasta, um, we got some pasta and sauce, we got vegetables, um, and it all came in under £3.29. Um, I did try and get some footage of that. Unfortunately, something went wrong with the microphone at that particular moment, So and something 
bizarre went on with the camera. So all she got was a side view of me picking it up and taking it to the kitchen. So I do apologise about that. Um, I will try and do better for you in the future. Uh, but I do have some footage. Um, the only thing is, is please forgive me for the clothes that are hanging up on the back of the chair and on the back of the door and the hoover being out because I was doing some housework yesterday. And I don't have an outside space to hang my washing. So it has to hang on the backs of doors and on the backs of chairs uh, when I'm drying it. So sorry about that, guys. Life is life after all. Um, you know, and... Um, yeah, and I've realised since um, I've been filming that um, my walls really need painting. I mean, they really need painting. I mean, seriously, they're so, they're so um, faded looking and, you know, quite worn looking. And it's not because I'm a dirty person, because I keep the home quite clean and tidy. It's just, you know, time. It's magnolia paint, so it doesn't show very nice on camera anyway. But I am going to be getting it redecorated later in the year. I'm having new flooring put down. I'm having a new kitchen put in. And I'm having all the walls skimmed over, you know, to make them flat. So that's going to be amazing and be repainted. So you'll all be around for that. And then I'm going to have some, myself some new furniture, I think, um, to really go with it. So I hope you stick around for that because that's going to be really good. But anyway, on with the cooking. So let's get on and do some cooking. <laughs> Here we are in my kitchen so here we are in my kitchen so we've got a couple of saucepans and what we're going to do is I'm going to get a cup for the pasta so here's our pasta And we've poured a cup of pasta, which we're going to pour into there. On with that, where's my jug? We're also going to cover that with water. And we've got a few stray ones, so we'll chuck them in as well. So, but what we need to do first is we need to prep the bacon. So we're going to chop some. We're going to we're going to open this bacon up. I don't think you can see what I'm doing here, but there we go. But we've got a slice of bacon. Look at that. That's really nice bacon. It's a bit fatty, but we can always chop that fatty bit out. We're not, because it'll add to the taste. And you're on a budget, so it's all you can afford, so. But what I'm doing is I'm chopping this bacon into strips. Because what I want to do before I do anything else is fry this bacon off. So as this is dinner, we're going to use two slices. And we've got a cat up on the counter. Get down, and I need to wipe that counter because the cat's been up there. There we are. Last thing we want is pussy cat fur in me dinner. See what I mean? This is what we're doing, lot. We're chopping the bacon into strips. One, because it'll cook quicker. Because while we're doing that, you see, the... Um, Pasta's on. So there we are. Two rashes of bacon in a pan. Shut up, Jasper. As always, guys, as soon as I start recording, here comes Jasper. So, 
here we are look we're just going to brown this uh, bacon off like that you see while the pasta's cooking it's going to get a bit of color in that you see it's what we've not added any butter well one because there was none in the budget and two because it's bacon and it's very fatty you're not going to need any Now at this point, if you've got any spices at home, it would be a good time to add them. So we've added a bit of spice to that, just for flavour. And I do apologise about any Hindu noise that you might hear. Unfortunately, I do live right next door to a rather busy road. So, there we are, look, we're still sizzling away with that bacon. Let me just check to make sure you are actually recording. You are, yeah. So we're still sizzling away and that bacon's ready now. So what we're gonna do next is we're now gonna open the frozen vegetables. Now remember, this is the bulk of our meal. This is what's bulking it out and providing and stopping you from getting scurvy. So we poured some of them into the same pan. And remember they're frozen, so you're gonna mix them around until they start to defrost a little bit. Now I know Gordon Ramsay is gonna be absolutely spitting feathers at me here, but... Fuck you, Gordon Ramsay. I'm cooking on a budget and I'm not a good cook. Now what I don't like is I don't like these large chunks of broccoli, so... You know, they're a bit too big, so we're going to take them out. Oh, that's looking really nice. So, what, and what we're also going to do now... Oh, and here's a great tip, guys. A great tip. If you can't get the lid off a jar, rather than spending forever trying to get it off, get your knife and puncture the top. Why do you do that? I hear you cry. Well, let me tell you something, guys. In doing that, you've pierced the air bubble pocket in there, you see. And um, we're just gonna pour a bit of that on there. See, we've only actually used half a jar. Like I said, two meals. We're gonna put that in the fridge because we might use that tomorrow. We're also going to put the bacon in the fridge, but it's a good idea to wrap your bacon once it's open. Now, unfortunately, I don't appear to have any tinfoil, but here's a handy little trick. We all have a mountain of plastic bags in our cupboard. Or at least anybody that wants to save the environment does. So, the best thing to do is to put your bacon inside the plastic bag and wrap it up so the air can't get in. You will find that if you do that, this large pack of bacon will actually last a lot longer. And it's also freezeable. Now we've also finished with the frozen vegetables, so we're going to get them in the freezer to keep them fresh. So, we've now got a fairly decent dinner cooking away. And while that pasta cooks, those vegetables are going to cook through to just an al dente form. So there'll still be a nice bit of crunch in there. So now all we've got to do is wait. So, yeah. And we spent four, we spent three pound 29. Which is not bad. And like I said, this isn't going to be the most glamorous food you've ever eaten in your life. 
But you are certainly not going to go hungry. You're definitely not going to starve. So, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to say thank you for watching. And I really hope you really enjoyed the vlog. And I hope you're going to get a lot out of it because we're going to be filming again in another two days where we will spend the other four pound, um, bringing our total to eight pound for the week. And then we're going to do the other two days on the Saturday and Sunday. And then next week, we're very excitedly, we're going to be trying out cleaning products, budget price cleaning products. Why are we trying them out? Because not only do you have to feed yourself, but you do have to keep your home clean and your clothes clean and you clean. So I think what's best is if we try out and we take the same £10, um, well, just £10, and we have to get cleaning products to clean the house, we have to get cleaning products to clean ourselves, and we also have to get cleaning products to clean our clothes. Then we're going to test them out and see what they're like. All right? So keep a lookout for that video. This series is going to be about my How to Live on a Budget series. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm hoping it's tackling one of the hardest issues that's facing us all. In the coming weeks, I'm going to be tackling some other much harder ones. But I want the channel to grow first. As soon as my channel gets big enough, then I'm going to really go at it. I'm going to really go for those hard issues like um, homelessness and drug addiction. I've got some amazing content. Um, contacts for that. I've got the manager of Aldi who has really kindly given me a telephone number and Tom we are going to be giving you a call because you know I do want to interview you at some point about shoplifting in the store which is another one we're going to tackle crime and how do we stop it so I hope you've enjoyed it and remember my motto don't dream it be it life is yours to make and don't forget to hit that and don't forget to go down there see down there in the bottom you'll see the subscribe button go and hit my subscribe button go and smash up my like button go and follow me on twitter follow me on instagram and follow me on snapchat okay oh now we promised we'd shout out a youtuber so which youtuber shall we choose today Okay. Well, I'll tell you, here's one that we're going to shout out. And that's... Jeffree Star. I'm going to put a link to his um, YouTube in the channel, in the description. He's a fabulous YouTuber, does makeup tutorials. But his vlogs are not just about tutorials. It's... Uh, about him and his boyfriend Nate. Um, he's a fabulous character, brings out a fabulous range of stuff. And my God, I wish I had his skin. I mean, have you seen that man's skin? I mean, it is literally, he's like a porcelain doll. He's got a face like a porcelain doll. Go check him out, you'll absolutely love him. And another makeup lady that I really like, and I don't know why I like watching these really, is uh, Tatty Westbrook. So go check Tatty out as well. Um, they're really great. I really enjoy watching their videos. And uh, by the way, TFI, TFIL have also brought out a film one. So go check that out as well. Go like and subscribe. <laughs>